In this video, we'll show you how to onboard data sources to Citrix Analytics for Performance. Citrix Analytics for Performance provides IT with key insights and proactive recommendations for both cloud-based and on-premises Citrix virtual apps and desktops environments. To get started, we first need to onboard one or more data sources. From the main dashboard in Citrix Analytics, we'll go to Settings and Data Sources. Then we'll select the Performance tab. Now we'll drill into the Virtual Apps and Desktops monitoring. Citrix Analytics for Performance automatically detects cloud-based environments, such as the Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop service. They are displayed as Cloud XD Site and no further action is required. For on-premises environments, a few simple steps are required to onboard with Citrix Director and Citrix Storefront. From Citrix Director, we sign in with Administrator Credentials. Director and Controller version 1909 or higher is required. We're using 1912 LTSR for this example. Refer to Citrix Docs for further details on data source requirements. Select the Analytics tab. Agree to the Terms of Service and click Get Started. Now we can click Connect Site, and a code is generated for us to register our site in Citrix Analytics. We'll copy this code out to the clipboard and then switch back to Citrix Cloud. From the top left hamburger menu in Citrix Cloud, we'll go to Identity and Access Management. Then API Access and Product Registrations. Click Register. Now we paste in the code we copied from Director earlier and click Continue and Register. The registration is successful. We can click on Close. Next, we'll configure our Citrix Storefront data source. Back in Citrix Analytics, under the Settings Data Source screen, we'll select Connect to Storefront Deployment. Here, we'll enter our storefront version which must be 1906 or later, and check off confirmation questions for requirements and connectivity. Refer to Citrix Docs for details. Then we'll click Download File to download the storefront configuration file. Next, we'll copy this file to one of our storefront servers. From your storefront server, launch a PowerShell prompt as an administrator. Then we start by loading the Citrix snap-ins. Next, we run the commandlet to import the Citrix Analytics configuration file, pointing to the appropriate path of the local file. After, we can run the get commandlet here to confirm the configuration that we just imported. Finally, run this commandlet to propagate the configuration to the other storefront servers in your group. Alternatively, you can also publish the configuration update from the storefront console itself. Back in Citrix Analytics, after waiting several minutes, sometimes a little longer, the data sources will appear. Here we see our storefront deployment with successful configuration status. Under Sites, we have our on-premises test site name listed. Congratulations, you've just onboarded your on-premises virtual apps and desktops environment. To onboard Citrix Gateway appliances through Citrix Application Delivery Management, follow the instructions shown and refer to Citrix Docs.